Uh, now, on to the wet, wet, wet. They rose to fame, of course, in the late 80s. Massive hit with a little help from my friends, Goodnight Girl, Love Is All Around. They're about to release their greatest hits, Step by Step, uh, which is out on Monday. Marty Pello and Graham Clark joined me and they started by making me feel very warm inside because they told me how much they'd been enjoying Manchester. Well, last night, me and Graham got in and we were about in Manchester, didn't we? We went to the Christmas market and all that. Which was absolutely phenomenal. Did you enjoy the Christmas? We had oh, a great time there. We were just right. walking about, hanging about with, and some of the, the the wee venues there, and just you know, just soaking up the atmosphere. Yeah. I mean, I think it really. Uh, I mean, we love Manchester anyway. We've been coming here for so long now that I think something like that. As a matter of fact, we was just wishing that we had something like that in Glasgow, where you had that, where everybody could just meet in the square, mm -hmm. and and there was a real buzz in an atmosphere. It was it's a meeting point, and they were yeah. really working it. We yeah. thought brilliant. Yeah. So what happened? the likes of you then you know you're from wet 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 this massive massive band can you wander around and people do they do double takes when they see you well it's a bit of that, i guess but, but you know but we're incognito you know we we, we wear hats and uh do you really big, big flowery jumpers <laughs> and uh, i was dressed as santa <laughs> So I was getting a lot of action. <laughs> <laughs> do you do incognito? Nah, um, nah. I mean, I think, you know, there was a few double takes, you know, as you, as you kind of wander around, but um, look, it's like anything else, you know, if you draw attention to yourself and, you know, it's there if you want it, if you just get your yeah. head down and just have a look and... Someone once said that to me, somebody who was, you know, a very, very high profile person yeah. you know if you want to be seen you can be and if you don't you don't you have don't. to be right. and you know that that's exactly right if you're going to walk about with a big entourage you know and, <laughs> and you know and, and you're going to draw focus aren't you and and so for us it's about uh, that's great that makes sense that we can come about and go about and see the city and you know not have to not that we ever did really worry about that we, we kind of just went about our lives did you never have a huge entourage not really no no, no not really and i think uh, you know the the whole point of having Success and and uh, has been. I would like to think that we were the sort of guys that you would think were uh, were approachable. How are you getting on now? How's it all going? New album, mm. tour about to start. Mm -hmm. How's oh, it? it's fantastic, isn't Great. it? I mean, we're that's us doing our job again and out going around the country selling an album mm. on a song again. Mm. And um, you know, we felt it was important if we were going to do it. You know, as well as looking back, we're projecting forward as well. So it's. You know, so hopefully. there are new songs, aren't oh, yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, that's important. You know, which is great when you, especially when you get a greatest hits package where you can see a documentation of songs you wrote in your twenties, thirties, forties, and in our case, heading towards fifty. Easy, easy, easy. easy. <laughs> that you have not quite yet, Marty. Oh, all right. I know. I keep saying it now. I'm, I know there's a few years to go yet, but I just keep. <laughs> a it's good a magic, few years to go. Well, yeah. it's, it's a magic number. How old are you, Marty? <laughs> I'm forty-eight. Oh, and how old are you, Greg? Eighteen. <laughs> no. It's just that I, I, he uses a better moisturiser than me. <laughs> no, we're all the same age. Funnily we're enough, uh, same class at school. Yeah. You know, so so yeah, we're we're heading to that big milestone um, and embracing it. You hey, know, it's non-negotiable. It. <laughs> God, I can't believe you're nearly 50, you know. No. Hey, but I'll right. bring it on. And so, from that point of view, uh, uh, it's nice to be able to see where we are as songwriters. Melody and harmony. Mm. And that's where we always came from. So yeah. I think you go, oh, there you go, that's, uh, that's cool. And I think, and uh, 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 me especially, from for the point of view of me, you know, in my 20s and 30s, I was striving from something from wet, wet, wet. That I never quite got. I don't know what that was, but now when I'm when I'm uh, in wet wet wet, I, I feel a little bit more relaxed with it. I think it's just I've kind of grown into what what we do is. I, I like it. I like it even more. And I think in reflection, uh, I, I, when I look at the body of work that we did, I'm I, I'm 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 very proud of it. Whereas at the time I I was all saying, well, I could have maybe done that bit better. And wouldn't it be great if we had this? And wouldn't it be great if we had that? When in fact I was I was very 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 lucky I, th I, th I think as well y you kind of when you're in your 20s and your 30s and, and you're kind of in that heady world you're, you're running as fast as you can for as long as you can and in a sense you get to think about things but not you don't dwell on them you know you're just running to the next thing you know what what we do and life was fast we dictated the pace you know we we liked it that way and and it was fast and furious and as you get a bit older you you begin to realize that you know it's nice to take your time and it's nice to look back and enjoy yourself and somebody asked me a question what would you 
what would you say to your 20 year old self and uh, you know after about 15 minutes of scratching my head like ah, yeah what would I say it would be take what you do seriously but don't take yourself too seriously you know and, and I think in a sense that's what I was caught up in you know they first got together back in 1982 and they told me about how it's difficult not to believe the publicity. I think it's hard to not kind of get caught up in that, you know, in a sense. You know, but I think we're canny Scots, you know. I think I think we, we have a, you know, healthy dose of realism every once in a while when you go back. And, you know, we have parents, we have brothers, we have families, we have, you know, people there that, that, that are pretty grounding. Mm. And what about you, Marcy? What would you say to your 15 or 20-year-old self? Well, the, uh, I, I, I'll take it in a lighter note with some of the fashion faux pas because <laughs> uh, uh, the, it's great that, you know, that, uh, that uh, some of my mates, uh, you know, will say to me, oh, look at that, Marty, you know, look, look what you're wearing there or look what you said. And, and, I, and, and their pictures get kept in a drawer. I, I get to share them time and time again on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I drop a, a press of a button, you can just go and you just go like, oh no, Marty, please don't say that. Oh no, no, did I say, oh no, oh really? Uh, you know, so there's a bit of that going on. And and, and I guess that's, oh, that's just what, what, what makes me, me or good, bad or indifferent. And that's, you know, youth arrogance is a heady mix and all those sort of things. And, you know, it's cool. You've always been quite honest and open in interviews, actually. Hmm. You've always bared your soul or to a to a greater extent well, than a lot I, of people do well there's an element of that but you know and, and i think that, uh, that that's never a bad thing because if then if i can live inside an interview uh, that that you can go there then why not uh, as long as long as it's you know and if it's honest and then there's stuff that you keep to yourself because you're a private person and 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 you understand that uh, uh, you know interviews interviews is a weird thing you know when we first started doing it you know it was like somebody wants to talk to us <sighs> or somebody wants to have it you know, well, what am i going to say you know what am I gonna, you know uh, wow if someone does a homework and you know they, they, they're, they're an enjoyable experience now really are uh, you've obviously come back together as wet 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 sure. um are you i've just spoken to you before graham you know yeah. you've done your own solo tour sure. <laughs> acoustic <laughs> You've done what? <laughs> I did. That's amazing. And you you loved it, didn't you? I did. I did love it. And you know, I think it's as a as a songwriter, it's important for me to have that outlet. It's important mm -hmm. for me to kind of go out there and do what I do. And you know, it's and do also... smaller venues. Obviously, yes. on your own, you do smaller venues. And yet, here you are in a few days or a couple of weeks' time, coming to the huge Manchester oh, Arena. Oh, nice link. I like the way you <laughs> did that. That's a good interview yeah. technique there. <laughs> Aye, bro, this is my favourite interview of all time. Yeah, no, on Sunday, the eighth of December, we are. We're coming to Manchester, and mm -hmm. you know, we, aye, we've got a, we've got a big show, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, I love playing live. Playing live is what it's about. You know, it's why I picked up an instrument in the first place. I'm going to just spend a couple of hours just doing lots of hit records because we can, and that's because <laughs> you've got them. Because we've got in them. Your back Do you know? And and I think that's about uh, you know when the, originally last year when we did our first gig and I think it was about five years. It's working out now that we go on the road every five years pretty much. Uh, it's like a kind of celebration of our work. No, you know, we know it, it, there's okay. There's a bit of educating going on with some of the new songs, but mostly it's just about entertaining and being and being cool with that and getting in, take, taking these songs out again and really you know enjoying them for what they are.